Hey guys, so my name is Dave, and I'm from the YouTube channel, The Costume Kid, where I make all kinds of props and costumes out of cheap and easy materials. And today, we're going to be making some Paladin armor from Voltron Legendary Defender. So today we're going to be making Keith's red Paladin armor, but they're all exactly the same, so you can take this technique, and uh, when I say red, you can just change that to blue, or whatever color you choose, for Lance, or Pidge, or any of the other Paladins. But let's get started. So starting off this tutorial, let's start with his shirt. I found this awesome black kind of athletic like tiger shirt long sleeve at a thrift store, which is a super awesome place to get all your cosplay materials. So we're gonna be taking this shirt and building off of it with some craft foam. Now this is two millimeter thin foam. Uh, you could use a different version as well. Uh, you can buy this at any local craft store. It comes in sheets and an awesome roll like this. And uh, we're gonna be cutting this up, gluing it down, and uh, making some armor. So basically I'm laying down the shirt, covering it with the foam, and then drawing out what I want it to look like. Basically, I'm going to cover the entire upper body, but in multiple pieces. I'm going to add the red detail here with some uh, red duct tape, then I think it'll look pretty good. Alright, so he has some pretty cool shoulder pieces on his armor, and for that I'm going to be using this red foam. It's the same stuff, just red. These red shoulder pads looking pretty awesome. Moving on to the back. I'm gonna make a small box out of the red foam and then I'll glue that to the back. All right guys, on to our next step and that is his belt. So I've got this white belt here from the thrift store and I'm gonna be building off of that with some foam. All right. That's it for this awesome looking belt. Moving on. So now we're gonna work on the arm and leg armor. For that, I'm basically gonna be making a tube that will fit a part of my arm out of the foam, and then adding some details to that with the foam. Also probably some duct tape or spray paint. All right. We're basically going to be repeating the same steps to make the leg arm. Alright, for these shin pieces, because they're too skinny to fit my foot through, I'm going to have to leave them cut in half, and then when we want to wear the costume, we can just tape it up. Alright, so the last piece of detail on these is on the very bottom ring of them. There is a little bit of a uh, ankle detail, and that's going to be some red craft foam, and then some white craft foam with some blue duct tape. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to work on a shoe. Here I have some black shoes. I bought these from the thrift store, but you could just use an old pair. we got to paint them white, but first I'm going to mask off some of the bottom here because that stays black. Okay, so now it's time to make the helmet. So this is kind of an interesting way of making helmets, but we're going to do it out of this foam half-inch uh, puzzle piece mat. You might have seen this uh, lining floors or something, but it actually can make really good costume pieces. Now to make a helmet, we of course need a pattern for a helmet. So, I have my mannequin head, Janine, but this technique involves wrapping the head in aluminum foil and then duct tape. You could use whatever color, I'm gonna use yellow. And then you draw out with a Sharpie what you want the helmet to look like and then cut on those lines. All right, now we can cut out these patterns, and you notice I only did half the head, and that's because once we uh, do half, we can flip the patterns and make the other side, then it's symmetrical. All right, now let's trace them on the foam. So if this is confusing you, just basically remember you're going from a 3D shape, the head, down to a 2D shape, which is the patterns, and then back to a 3D shape, which is the helmet. Alright, so our six foam pieces are done. Uh, now before we glue these together, I'm going to pass them over with a heat gun first, uh, just so we can get a little bit of curve out of them, 
and that way it'll be easier to glue and it'll give it a better final look. Placing these pieces together, you really need to take your time and just really line it up so that you get a good helmet. We're going to use some barge contact cement. Now what this stuff is, uh, is you put it on both sides and then you let it sit for a minute and get tacky, then you can stick them together and then when they touch, you're good. Alright, so my foam helmet is all glued together here. It looks pretty cool and it snugly fits the foam head here. Uh, the only problem is, my head's a little bit bigger than the foam one. So I'm gonna try again. Readjust the patterns to make them a little bigger, and I got a foam helmet. Much better! It's time to paint. All right, so I painted it white, and then I took my time and masked off all of the part I want to stay white, and uh, once that's done, bring on the red spray paint. All right, now that this helmet is all good and painted, we can finish it up with a few more details that I'm gonna do primarily out of so the light blue duct tape here, and then we're gonna do the visor. For that, I'm gonna use this little folder divider. Okay, so we got the cool blue visor here, looking pretty awesome, and I can still see fairly well. So that is it for the costume, moving on to the sword. Okay, so each paladin has their Bayard, and for Keith, his is an awesome red and white sword. So that's what we're gonna make. Okay, so I took a full floor mat, cut it in half there, because this sword's gonna be double layer thick, and then I just kinda drew out the basic shape I thought a sword should look like. You know, looking at the picture, drawing it out. And then I cut out all the edges on a kind of a beveled angle there, so that when I glued both pieces together, you get a nice sharp sword. Then I took a length of PVC pipe, cut it down, and added some pieces of foam. Alright, so I went ahead and painted the whole thing white here. Looks pretty awesome, and now we can finish this up primarily with some colored duct tapes. Alright, this sword looks really, really awesome. I'm very, very happy with the duct tape details. They really just bring this piece up a notch. And with that, that is the completed tutorial. So now, let's try it all on. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dave from the YouTube channel, The Costume Kid, so go check it out. Click right here to subscribe to DreamWorks TV and over here to watch more Voltron videos. See you next time.